on today's Craigslist Find vs. Find, I have three cars for you guys to pick from. One from the 40s, one from the 50s, and one from the 60s. Now, these cars are all in similar condition, but here's the kicker. They all are at or around $1,000, so they're very, very cheap. The first one that we have is a 1948 International Pickup Truck. The seller in this ad doesn't list much about the truck other than the year, the make, and it's a good project, and no title. So we're going to have to look at these pictures and see what we can see from them. So from the outside, it just looks like most 40s trucks do, ready for restoration, ready for somebody to give it some love. It does not look like it's missing very many parts. It probably has the wrong wheels on it, at least in the back it does. The inside, like most trucks from the 40s, doesn't have anything left, but it looks like it's fairly rust-free for the most part. Now the engine bay it looks like it has a straight 6, maybe a straight 8. It's a really awful picture. I can't tell which one it is. But it's definitely got a straight motor in it, which is typical for most 40s uh, production cars. It's old enough that all the, all the tags are gone off of the uh, data plate on it. And no seat to speak of. Looks like the gas tank is under the seat. And it's manual shift, of course. No options whatsoever. The second project we have from the 50s is a 1959 Edsel. And again, this seller doesn't give us much information to go off either. He says it was running when parked and it's in fair shape. Call. It's a two-door, so which is actually interesting. Most of the Edsels I've seen for sale have actually been four-door cars. This one does look like it has at least power brakes and air conditioning. Now, whether they're factory or not, I don't know, but they do look like their factory installation. From what we can tell, it looks like the car's fairly rust free. There's a little bit of rust underneath the rear uh, wheel arch, but the fact that it's in tall grass in a field doesn't help the cause much. I wish the seller would have added interior pictures. You can kind of see through the uh, side shot some of the interior, but knowing where it's been for who knows how long, it's probably going to need all the interior redone. And that's why he didn't include pictures. So, The third car that we have from the 60s is a 1964 Ford Galaxy. This seller actually gives us a little bit more information than the other two. He says the car does not run, but the motor does turn over. The body is straight, but it's going to need floor and trunk pans, which for cars, again, that are sitting outside, that's usually what they need. It is a four-door, but it does come with air conditioning. Now, whether that's factory or aftermarket, I don't know. I don't know that much about Fords, but the AC unit under the dash does look like some that I have seen in other Mustangs of the same of the same vintage. It doesn't have any, looks like any kind of power steering or power brakes, so maybe air conditioning was the only option that they splurged on. It does have an automatic transmission. But there you go. So this one is priced at $1,100. I'm sure you could get it for 1000 if you showed up with money in a truck.